The Blue Planet is a British nature documentary series created and produced by the BBC. It premiered on 12 September 2001 in the United Kingdom. It is narrated by David Attenborough. Described as, "...the first ever comprehensive series on the natural history of the world's oceans." Each of the eight 50-minute episodes examines a different aspect of marine life. The underwater photography included creatures and behavior that had previously never been filmed. The series won a number of Emmy and BAFTA TV awards for its music and cinematography. The executive producer was Alistair Fothergill, and the music was composed by George Fenton. Attenborough narrated this series before presenting the next in his Life series of programs, The Life of Mammals, 2002, and the same production team created Planet Earth. 2006. Topic. Background The series took almost five years to make, involving nearly 200 filming locations. The fact that most of the ocean environment remains a mystery presented the production team with many challenges. Besides witnessing some animal behaviors for the first time, the crew also observed some that were new to science. The producers were helped by marine scientists all over the world with state-of-the-art equipment. Blue whales—whose migration routes were previously unknown—were located by air, after some of the animals had been given temporary radio tags. The camera team spent three years on standby, using a microlight to land on the water nearby when they finally caught up with the creatures in the Gulf of California. The open ocean proved more difficult and over 400 days were spent in often unsuccessful filming trips. After six weeks, the crew chanced upon a school of spinner dolphins, which in turn led them to a shoal of tuna. Off Mexico, the behavior of a flock of frigatebirds guided the cameramen to a group of sailfish and marlin, the fastest inhabitants of the sea. Near the coast of Natal in South Africa, the team spent two seasons attempting to film the annual sardine run, a huge congregation of predators such as sharks and dolphins, that assembles to feast on the migrating fish by corralling them into bait balls. Meanwhile, in Monterey Bay, orca were documented attacking gray whales and killing a calf. Filming in the deep ocean required the use of special submersibles. One of them enabled the crew to dive over a mile into the San Diego Trench, where the carcass of a 40-ton gray whale had been placed to attract a large variety of scavengers. When first transmitted on BBC One, over 12 million people watched the series and it regularly achieved an audience share of over 30%. In 2018 a newly discovered species of phytoplankton Azureplanata was named by scientists in honor of the program, and in recognition of David Attenborough's contribution to promoting wider understanding and awareness of the oceanic environment. <laughs> Episodes Our planet is a blue planet, over 70% of it is covered by the sea. The Pacific Ocean alone covers half the globe. You can fly across it non-stop for 12 hours and still see nothing more than a speck of land. This series will reveal the complete natural history of our ocean planet, from its familiar shores to the mysteries of its deepest seas. Merchandise Topic DVD and Blu-ray The series was available as a 3-disc DVD set, BBC DVD 1089, released the 3rd of December 2001, including interviews with the production team, a photo gallery and 3 additional programs. Making Waves, The Making of the Blue Planet 50 minutes. Deep Trouble, an ecological documentary 50 minutes. Blue, a five-minute theatrical short The first DVD has now been superseded by a four-disc special edition, BBC DVD 1792, released 3 October 2005, which has three extra programs. The Abyss Dive to Shark Volcano 
Amazon Abyssin the US, there is a different 5-disc special edition BBC 040754, released 2 October 2007. It contains the featured presentations as well as a fifth disc containing four special presentations. Amazon Abyss – Discover an array of creatures living in the Amazon. Dive to Shark Volcano – Venture to Coco Island, an underwater volcano. Beneath the Tides – Explore an estuary in winter. Antarctica BBC released a three-disc The Blue Planet – Seas of Life on Blu-ray on 9 April 2013. It contains the featured presentations as well as a third disc containing interviews, behind-the-scenes footage and five special presentations Amazon Abyss Dive to Shark Volcano Beneath the Tides Antarctica Deep Trouble Books The accompanying book, The Blue Planet, A Natural History of the Oceans by Andrew Byatt, Alistair Fothergill and Martha Holmes with a foreword by David Attenborough, was published by BBC Worldwide on 27 September 2001 ISBN 0 The companion volume for the U.S. market of the same book was published by Dorling Kindersley DK and released in 2002 ISBN 0 789 Topic Film Deep Blue is a 2003 nature documentary film that is a theatrical version of The Blue Planet. Alistair Fothergill and Andy Byatt are credited as directors, and six cinematographers are also credited. The film was premiered at the San Sebastian Film Festival in Spain on 20 September 2003. It screened in more than 20 territories from 2003 to 2005 and grossed over $30 million at the box office. <laughs> Live concert tour The Blue Planet was turned into a theatrical presentation entitled The Blue Planet Live, which toured the UK from 2006 to 2008. The UK live shows were presented by World Class Service Limited. George Fenton conducted the Manchester Camerata Orchestra in Manchester, Newcastle and Nottingham during December 2006, in three critically acclaimed shows. The tour continued in April 2007, again conducted by Fenton, in London, Cardiff, Birmingham and returning to Manchester and Nottingham. For the show, some of the most spectacular sequences from the series have been edited together and are displayed on a huge screen 18 meters wide and three stories high. The presentation is introduced by a special guest. The tour continued in April 2008 with dates at Wembley Arena, Nottingham Arena, Manchester Central, Cardiff St David's and Birmingham Symphony Hall. The Blue Planet Live continues to be staged on the 7th of May 2010 at the Morzani Hall of the Straz Center for the Performing Arts in Tampa, Florida, performed by the Florida Orchestra and conducted by Ward Stair. In July 2011 in the Mann Center for the Performing Arts in Philadelphia performed by the Russian National Orchestra, narrator Jane Polly. In June 2012 in Singapore performed by the Singapore Symphony Orchestra. In December 2014 in Abu Dhabi at Cornish performed by the National Symphony Orchestra. On the 22nd of January 2015 in London at Royal Festival Hall, as a part of the Philharmonia at the Movies series. Sequel In February 2017, the BBC announced a seven-part sequel had been commissioned, titled Blue Planet 2, with Sir David Attenborough returning as narrator and presenter. The sequel debuted on BBC One, BBC One HD and BBC Earth Channel on 29 October 2017. Topic. Overseas The series was sold to over 50 countries. 
In the United States, it was shown as the Blue Planet, Seas of Life with the episodes in a different order, the first one being retitled, Ocean World. The series was shown on the Discovery Channel and was narrated by Pierce Brosnan. Topic: <coughs> Criticism. The series attracted some criticism when it was revealed that some of the footage was filmed at an aquarium in Wales. The series producer, Alistair Fothergill, said that around 2% of the whole series was filmed in tanks at aquariums. <laughs>